how's it going welcome to the channel today i want to talk about starting an emergency fund or just having an emergency fund the idea behind it have some money set aside obviously in the event of an emergency uh you know like a water heater breaking down transmission going your central air heat going out on you um you know it helps offset so that you're not caught by surprise or put into additional debt when these things inevitably happen as you know they sometimes will. It's an unfortunate reality of life. Eventually something's going to break on you and it's going to cost, you know, pretty good chunk of change to fix. So uh, it's a good idea to have that money set aside for when these things happen so that, again, like I said, you don't have to go into debt. You don't have to try to put the repairs on your credit card or get a loan or something like that. Sometimes these things get a little bit expensive. You know, hot water heater's not cheap, new transmission not cheap so uh but how much do you set aside and how do you get started well it, it's actually very easy most experts say three to six months worth of bill money like whatever it would cost you to live in your house for three to six months assuming you lost your job which is one of the emergencies that can happen sometimes you get laid off uh you never know what's going to go on in the world today it's, it's we're going on to what two and a half years of the pandemic and still have restrictions going on and still have limitations to travel and things like that. A lot of people you know, have suffered some uh, economic loss as a result of it. They've not been able to, you know, keep their full paychecks. So it never hurts to plan ahead, have some money set aside. Uh, I know sometimes saving money can be you know, kind of difficult. Uh, bills pile up. Everybody wants to, you know, go out to fancy restaurants and buy the newest iPhone or whatever you got going on, those types of things. But uh, I believe it's an important thing to do. I believe it's something everybody should do. It's just part of good personal finance. Right? Uh, the easiest way to do this, if you don't already have like a savings account or something like that, uh, find a high interest savings account. There are tons of them out there. You can go to your bank. That's what most people do. If you already have a checking account there, you can just open a savings account with them and you start small. Set a goal that, you know, once you determine what your goal is going to be, if you're saving up just a thousand dollars or six thousand dollars, whatever that is, set up, set that goal and then break it down into small, easy to achieve amounts. Uh, every person is different. Every individual has their unique situation. Some people can save you know, $500 a month. They just make enough money to be able to put that away and just haven't done it yet. Other people, you have to struggle a little bit more. So don't let it become something that's overwhelming to you. It doesn't have to be. If all you can put away is 10 bucks a week, start with that. At least you've gotten started. At least you're, you know, beginning the process. So set easy to achieve goals. Something that doesn't require you to, you know, give up too much of the niceties of life. Uh, you know, maybe if you're not already doing recycling, turn in recycling cans, get the money from that and use that to, you know, help start your savings. You'll find that once you get started, it'll be easier to continue that process, to continue to let it grow until you reach your savings goal of whatever that is. And, you know, it's three to six months worth of bill money, or like I said, if it's just whatever you figure is going to be enough to cover a new water heater or like I said earlier, transmission, something like that. Whatever you feel is going to be appropriate for your life. You can also uh, do things like cut back a little bit, right? Maybe don't order, skip the dishes as often as you do or reduce how much you order. You know, it's, it's, I'm a bit of a victim of always wanting to get that extra side item, you know, the popcorn chicken or an extra order of onion rings or, you know, it's, uh, me and my wife, we both love Asian food, so we always end up always getting like extra spring rolls, uh, extra dumplings, something like that. Cut back on that, save you a little bit of money over the week, over the month, put that money aside into your emergency savings account. Um, you know, before you know it, you'll have more in there than you know you thought you would have, and then once you reach your goal, this is where it gets really hard, right? Just saving money is a lot easier than not spending it. Um, once you have that money sitting there, it's tempting to use it to buy whatever new thing that comes out. 
right? It's, you know, all oh, the car's getting a little bit old. I've got it paid off and, you know, maybe it's time for a new one. So let's go get a Lexus or, you know, don't. Try to hold on to that car for a little while. Don't use that money for anything that's not an emergency. It kind of defeats the point of having it be called an emergency fund if you spend it on, you know, trips and vacations and, I don't know, fancy glasses and watches and stuff, whatever whatever it is you're into to buy. For me, it would be probably a trip. Somewhere warm because it's winter time now and it's freezing outside. So and I wouldn't mind you know, all-inclusive vacation down in Mexico would be pretty sweet. But I'm not cutting into my emergency fund to do it. Need that money in the event of an emergency. You never know. You get hit by a, a blizzard, the power goes out, your, your heater won't turn back on. You gotta have somebody come out and fix it because, you know, otherwise you freeze to death. So, yeah, just don't get into it. It's hard to do. But once you achieve that one, you'll find that it's also going to be just as easy to set up another savings account. Maybe one for trips. Maybe one for when that new iPhone comes out, when that new computer comes along. Uh, maybe you do need a new car. You got your emergency fund set. Start saving up to buy you know, a new car. Um, you don't have to keep adding to the emergency fund once you achieve whatever your savings goal is. You can just start another savings account, a separate account, for the specific purpose of you know a down payment on a car or a house. Most people save up a lot of, you know, it, it can be a expensive to get a down payment for a house, right? Just, they don't make those things cheap. Um, <clears throat> but it's a worthwhile part of being financially responsible with your money. I highly recommend that you do this if you don't already. At the very least, try to get like a thousand bucks, maybe two thousand bucks saved up. Uh, I know everybody's situation is different and unique. Things change. Um, we don't all have, you know, fancy lawyer or doctor's jobs to, you know, make a lot of money. And especially if you live in the States, they, they, they rake it in down there as lawyers and doctors. But, uh, you know, some of us just have regular jobs. Some of us oil change. Some of us working restaurants, things like that. Uh, and things have been kind of, you know, hit pretty hard recently. But it would be nice to have that money to fall back on in the event. And you know things are going to happen. And nobody predicted that the, the pandemic was going to go on, but it did. And don't you kind of wish you had that extra money to fall back on when it happened? And you may not have been able to do it last time, but there's no reason you can't do it for the next thing that comes along. So, uh, can't recommend it enough. Set up an emergency fund. It's one of the key fundamentals to becoming, you know, financially independent and actually starting on your course to being wealthy. Uh, when you don't have to worry about if you're going to have enough money to do this, to do that, to do, you know, something breaks on you and all of a sudden all your plans are shot because now you're an extra $3,000 in the hole of unexpected debt you weren't planning on. Now, it would have been nice to have that money set aside in a high interest savings account, earning you interest. So it's not just sitting there not doing nothing, just earning you interest. Let that grow. Don't touch it until you need a thing. Until you, until you need to spend it on, you know, an emergency an actual real emergency. Uh, needing a new iPhone, I wouldn't classify that as an emergency. Or a trip to Mexico. I wouldn't classify that as an emergency either. Although some days, some days when it hits minus 30, I really, really wish I could get the hell out of here. All right. Uh, it's enough of me whining about how cold it is and, and how much I want to, you know, go to an all-inclusive resort. Um, the importance of this video is to you know, just try to get the idea out there, kind of help you get started. You, like I said, you don't have to be super hardcore about it. Just start with what you can, cut back a little bit, turn in some recycling, uh, little things you can do to kind of just get that ball rolling and set little goals, right? Like, so you're just gonna do $50 for the first month, keep that going until you're in a position you can add to it or whatever, until you set your final goal of Whatever that amount is going to be, uh, you determine that for yourself and your own needs and your own situation, right? So, uh, like I said, the experts, general rule of thumb, three to six months. Uh, if you're going to go off of that, go six months. Uh, try to save that money up. Don't touch it. And, you know, trust me, in the end, in the long run, you're going to be much happier when something does happen 
and you do have that money to fall back on and all of a sudden you don't have to you know try to scramble to put yourself even further in debt just to you know have a hot water heater just to keep the AC on you'll be thankful you did it you'll be grateful you did it I know I was I'm glad but basically I watched a video kind of like this one and I went and did it I just started saving up some money and I set off to the side and then you know I'm glad I have that cushion that safety net to fall back on in the event that you know something breaks I've been fortunate so far nothing big's broken on me that we, we couldn't handle but I sleep easier at night knowing it's there and I think you will too so hopefully this video has been helpful to you hopefully it, it kind of gets the idea out there of <clears throat> of what to do and how to do it how to get started a little bit I know I kind of ramble a little bit in the way I talk uh, probably a little bit more about my my vacation time than I want but uh, the important thing is is like I said just get the idea out there just get started even if it's only five bucks just get started do something to kind of get that process going and if you do it in a high interest savings account it will earn interest over however much time it takes for you to ultimately reach your your final goal and you know it'll just make it that much easier nice little safety net never hurt anybody uh, thanks for watching I'll see you on the next one